Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity. It is very late during the work week, like about. but I decided to uh, squeeze in one more episode because it's just a fun game. Um, let's do a little bit of practice. I will turn on the hut. I am at your service, Monsieur. Or maybe I will just leave it off. All right, here we go. Lunch training. Purchase the staggering strike skill. We have that. Staggering strike will stun your enemies for a few seconds. Hold A during a fight to use this action. Ah, okay. This is uh, training per whatever you have unlocked. Right, that's actually pretty cool. These trainings. Let's just do some of them. Oh, forgot the timer. Here we go. Staggering strike. combination like the parry and then the staggering strike one moment wait for it and then for some big damage like so keep practicing and you'll be unstoppable Right. Man, saving or loading screens between each of these little training options is a bit annoying yeah. because it are literally like 30 training sessions. Or 20 but still ground execution you can execute prone enemies with a single strike press x to finish the targets all right i don't have that skill strong attack i do not have that skill heavy weapon inflict more damage against enemies attack with x during fights i did understand that actually they do not inflict more damage uh, maybe at default stats but fully upgraded there is n it's not like heavy weapons dish out more weapons they are actually worse in the sense that they're slower compared to a fully upgraded simple sword which is quicker and dishes out the same damage uh, at max upgrade as far as i understood I think Leo Case video, tutorial videos. But let's try it anyways. St the heavy weapons. After you. Ah, got you, outlaw. Ah. Oh shit. It really feels quite visceral. Ah. Bravissimo. Right, these guys don't really want to do the staggering strike. Ah. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Right, a couple more just to get the grips with the games before heading out. Okay, I just... um, heavy weapons master, nope. Long weapon. Here we go. Let's get Bloody it. Royalist! <laughs> Excellent show. <laughs> It's all pretty. It are basic, simple controls, but still visceral. It's not overly complicated. I really like this um, combat system. To be honest, it's engaging and gruesome all at the same time. Oh. It was my parry which was missed. The animations are amazing. It's almost like watching a movie. Like a match. Long weapon master, ranged weapon. I have to unlock it. Bomb throwing can have different effects. Aim by holding right button and throw by releasing the right button to reach a distant target. Press RB to quick throw a bomb. <laughs> Alright, now what? So that was it? Alright, this is actually pretty fun training. I understood that despite these bombs making sounds, Uh, despite them making sound, if you throw them where they cannot see the point of impact, they will not um, be affected by the... Um, too far from target? What the hell? 
They will not be affected by that uh, cherry bomb, that destruction bomb with the sound and the firework effects. I'm not really sure what it says. I'm too far from the target. Anyways, let's just throw him a bomb. You see, if he doesn't see the impact, I threw it behind him. He's not affected. So let's throw it in front of him. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do because as soon as I climb down, I'm done. So what the hell can I do? As soon as I walk about, it's like game over, right? Really awkward. It's a bit of trial and error going on up here. Let's just try to jump down. What? Man, this is an annoying uh, training section. What can I do? Ah, probably I have to throw the bomb on him. Maybe that's it. Let's try that. Not really. He's not faced by it at all. Hell. All right. I have no idea how to complete this. Uh, this. Uh, mission maybe just throw it my eagle eye vision is also not working can i shoot him I think the game is buggy or something. Alright, I'm quickly going to look this up on the internet because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Um, AC Unity Cherry Bomb Training Fail. Alright, let's see. One second. It's only, I think, a short video. Almost there. Alright, he's throwing it. Ah, now I see. I'm just an idiot. I um, totally overlooked these two dudes. I'm such an idiot. I only was paying attention to <laughs> to the dude downstairs. Oh, but still, I have 
have no idea what the hell. All right, I'm quickly gonna check it again before I'm again redoing this 30 times. Ah, uh, I think I don't even need to, um, I thought, and that is the, also the uh, confusing thing, it says knock them out. So I was thinking they need like a um, smash over the head, but that's not it. You just need to bomb them all. That counts as a knockout, apparently. But this should do the trick. That technique should serve you well. All right, very confusing. Also, my own mistake, but still. Nice to blame it on something else. <laughs> Come for some practice? Yes. Yes, master. Fast slides. Ah, this is also a new one. Press R right trigger and B to fast slide and increase your speed when sliding. Here we go. These are all really handy little mechanics to, uh, to know when trying to uh, go through the whole campaign. Here we go. That technique should serve you well. All right, that was a quick tutorial. But still, nice bite-sized and it is relevant to... Uh, even if I already knew it, it's good just the power of repetition to... I have some new foils just arrived, if you care to try them out. Make it like more of an automatic maneuver, like muscle control, so to say, muscle reflex. Air assassination allows you to kill an enemy from a high spot. Press X from higher ground to air assassinate. There we go. Highlight the guard and press X to assassinate. D guard or A guard? Yeah, I think it's the, the red one and that is not a guard. That's a rebel. Anyways. Ah, I cannot highlight that rebel actually. Can't I just assassinate? Like so. An excellent showing. Yes, so indeed, again, a little bit uh, confusing. That's not a guard. And also, the whole... Oh, my mistake. Can I start I'll over? Smash you, you got us. Indeed. Um, anyways, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, um, I don't think you need to highlight them, and I won't be highlighting them. I think you can mark enemies in the world. I think with X or some here, you can place. Like markers, and I think you can also highlight enemies. Though that's not really working here. Yeah, there it is. He's highlighted. Excellent. You have a knack for this. But I'm not gonna highlight them. That's more like for co-op, I guess. Wrong one, sorry. That technique should serve you well. True.
Right. Spot. What else do you have? Cover assassination. This action allows you to kill an enemy while hidden. When I hid hiding, press X to assassinate the target. And it's so gruesome. Holy shit. Right in the throat. An excellent <laughs> Also, the sound is pretty gruesome. Oh, quite visceral. Well done. Keep practicing and you'll be unstoppable. Everybody says to killing around. Right, what else do you have? Your skills are improving and active. Ledge assassination. This action allows you to kill a target while hanging from a ledge. Press X as an enemy passes you to assassinate them. So always my favorites. Pulling them off a high uh, place. Just checking where we are. I hear a box. A chest. I will check that later. Ah, the year's training dude. Chilling out. Here we go. <laughs> An excellent showing. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Alright, we have to kill some dudes. They see me. All right. He'll be hurling his guts out in a minute. God damn it! My mistake. I'm the boss here, mate. If you want to fool around, I'll tie you up your guts. All right. It's somehow it's not failing. I don't mind. Where is he? There he is. If I want to take a hammer to that skull of yours to see why there ain't no bloody brains, who's gonna stop me? Right, he did Get see him. me. I would say that he would not have been able to see me hanging behind that uh, railing. But let's try that again. Here we go. I have to be more careful. That's the lesson of this training. Oh. <coughs> See you later, dudes. God damn it! What, just want to get over that railing. It's not working. Whatever. Then we will take him out from over here. Uh. See you later, dudes. Well done. Keep <laughs> practicing, and you'll be unstoppable. Also, the ragdoll physics. They are all pretty fun in this game. Right, 
Alright, what comes for a walkout? By the way, pretty cool weapons. Some rifles and some pistols made from wood. No carbon fiber, Kevlar and what have you not modern materials in this day. And H, it's only wood and iron. Description, this ability allows you to unlock chests and doors. Press B to interact with a locked door or chest. Press A when the slider is inside the blue zone. Here we go. mechanic Whew. that technique should serve you well for sure Come for some practice? Cool sword handle, by the way. One he is holding. And we're going for the crowd blends. Blending in a crowd will hide you from enemies. Walk into a civilian group to blend automatically. So even I think the tutorial was a bit the written tutorial a bit confusing. It said you had to go to Where are you going? We'd love to give you a ground view. It said to go to uh, you can only blend in a group of minimal of four persons and elsewhere it said two persons. But now I actually in this training we actually had like a group of three. So I do think that four is not necessary. At least I counted three, maybe it were four. And then possibly two will be possible as well. Bravo, bravissimo. I think I'm here to hone your skills. Um, I had them all or not? Yes, that was it. All right, then. Um, that is it for now. What the hell was this? Assassin rank recruit. Next rank increase advanced recruits. Advanced recruits, elite recruits, trainee, advanced trainee, elite trainee, apprentice, advanced apprentice, holy shit, there's a lot of levels. Elite apprentice, soldier, advanced soldier, elite soldier, 
Enforcer, Advanced Enforcer, Elite Enforcer, Veteran, Advanced Elite Officer, Advanced Elite Champion, Advanced Elite Assassin, Advanced Elite Master, Advanced Elite Legend. And you need to get 600,000 points. Holy smack. Alright, but that is for later on. Uh, for now, I am. I only have like. What the hell is that outside? Ah, that are boats. Um, I don't have that much time anymore. It's really super late already. So, just to finish it off, I have some ten more minutes in the episode this was the legacy room right or was this arno's room yes this is arno's room so i i don't really uh, have time to go into like full on um missions so let's just read some of elise's letters one or two and then call it a day and continue in the next episode what the hell is this Player level, yeah, this is just like the in-game menu, customization menu, progress tracker, and I can edit favorite activities, yeah, which is exploration. I already said that in the previous episodes. All right, let's see what we have here. New letters available, read letters. This box contains all the letters Arno received from Elise. Paris, September 23rd, 1788. Dear Arno, I never thought I could be so bored in Paris. Can you imagine it? The greatest city in the world, and here I am, stuck in endless lectures from dawn to dusk. It's worse than that winter we spent in Strasbourg. Do you remember? When it snowed for a week straight, and we couldn't leave the house, and all the books in the library were in German. <laughs> we convinced that cook the house was haunted by some young Frankish prince. And the poor man refused to leave his kitchen without a rosary in one hand and a Bible in the other. I miss those days. The things I'm learning from father's friends are... Well, I wish I could tell you about them. Someday, perhaps. But not now. And not like this. But still, I find myself missing those days. Missing home. Missing you. Next time father comes to Paris, you must persuade him to bring you along. I remain always your Elise. Right. Um, but that was a long time ago because I think that father is in the meantime uh, has died. Are there any more letters? Paris, September 20th. Nope. All right. I was expecting a bit more, but that's Paris. probably gradually. Arno and Elise. <laughs> they will come in. New letters. Also, again, a nice little butterfly I noticed. There it goes. But uh, again, those animations, like people indeed renovating the cafe theater and tending to the garden. This guy. It's also nicely done. Like a rosary, or however you call it. Another way to exit. In retrospect, this was such a next gen game back in 2014. I mean, it still looks like next gen this day in 2020. It's absolutely crazy how underrated this game was. The amount of detail of the weapons. The authenticity of everything. 
the likable characters. For me, um, I heard that not everyone was super impressed with the story. I really like these relatively simple but dramatic stories or with a serious undertone like Arno losing his father and uh, Elise losing hers and also not too open world the story is just you, probably a bit linear but I really don't care for like 10 optional endings once I've get, gotten through the game one deep playthrough that will probably be enough because I've been really soaking it all in one ending for me actually gives more closure than 10 endings one ending which got the full attention is to me better than 10 endings which are yeah, haphazardly put together just for the sake of variety so yeah that's me can we go into bed nope can of course change the outfit but we will do that later i pretty much dig arno's current outfit um, yeah let's or maybe i can check whether i can change a color is that possible to change the color I can actually upgrade even ranged this is better for ranged also for me what really is important even though it might sound a bit stupid but is how it looks despite the stats 900 Florence or whatever it's called and I can hack what does hack mean 400 helix I only have 120 not enough helix credits to hack this content all right so why is that still in the menu then? It's a bit weird. I must say also, of course it's all part of different outfits. Uh, it's not that much. I wanted to say it's maybe a bit too much belt, but it's, it's just about right sure what the U is on this one the U for you play I think um, yeah, I will mostly be seeing the backside for now I actually like this one upgraded it goes to two Additional ammunition two, upgraded three. Additional smoke, yeah, additional stun grenades. So this one is not that impactful. Maybe looks a bit more flashy. And this one is one and two. So they affect even health and lockpicks. But actually, we were here to. Holy shit, check out this one. To check out. Arno's the color of his items 
handmade bourgeois coat. Restricted area detection. That's all like very conspicuous, these. I really would like to up the um, stealth characteristics. So these are all not like ideal. All of them have like restricted area um, drawbacks. It's quite weird, except this one. No, minus 70%. So awkward. Probably because they're all like super flashy. There is not one coat over here <coughs> which um, health goes to 16 health points. I wonder what. So the health bar is almost maxed out. So what? What is the? What is the scale? Is it zero to twenty or something? 0 to 18, this is 10, this is 16, and 10 seems to be halfway. If you look at the health, this is um, 10 health points fully maxed, and that's halfway on the health bar. And this one is 16 health points, and it's almost maxing out the health bar. Seems a bit... Yeah, not like a consistent ratio, so to say, between the amount of extra health points and the amount of filling of the uh, health bar. That might just be me. Also this. This one is 8 health points. The health bar is over there. This one is exactly the same health points, but the health bar is on a different uh, level filled. Alright, thinking too much of it probably. I don't really get this whole... Uh, statistics uh, thing, what's going on here. But for now, maybe also armor has something to do with it. That's probably it. So armor, because this uh, coat does not have any additional health points, but it does have armor points and the health bar gets filled by it as well. So that's probably also the one that I was checking out here sure which one it was let's say it was this one yeah this one and yeah, these two have the same health points uh, and the armor yeah, is actually the same as well only ranged armor is higher by the first uh, with the first one and that's why the health bar is filled a bit more i think that's it by the way that one was quite damn expensive 140,000, while others are like 200 um ah here are the colors i actually I have to use those middle points. I think they are creed points. It's all very nice. Ah, I can actually, I already own some. And some you have to unlock by collectibles, collect 40 cockades. I actually like this one as well. Pretty extensive, all these options. Very nice. And 
also pretty cool. This one, for instance. Right, the some you need cockage to unlock. This one is pretty cool as well. This one is not the best for an inconspicuous assassin. pretty cool this one as well this one as well ah this is the first one the one that we are actually wear wearing the white one was pretty cool as well Any more white ones? Nope. I have to say, let's just see how this one looks. Yeah, I must say, it does look white. Maybe I'm just going to go for this one because white really is like the yeah, I'm going to go with this one. It's really like for me the quintessential assassin's color. Let's see how it looks outside. Although his default attire or colors I also really like. But this really brings back memories for me of the classical games. The first game that really was quite revolutionary. If I think back about it, it popped into mind. Like, what a feeling that first game gave. Like, being indeed a stealthy character. There was nothing like that on the market. Of course, you had Thief, which I actually personally unfortunately never played you had like um, Sam Fisher Splinter Cell you have of course Metal Gear Solid but that's more like a stealth spy game there were not really assassin games like that you really felt almost a bit guilty of the, the yeah the, 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 the bad actions that you are actually uh, performing um, but it, it was quite revolutionary that first one the open world and that first one that was I think Ezio and he for sure had a white attire all right but I have to end the episode already uh, over the 45 minute marker Oh, shall I take that dude? Pick that dude. There he is. Here he is. I think this is him. What's this? No, I don't think that was. Uh, that was uh, like a robber. I think that was actually a civilian. Running away from a robber. Um, anyways, um, I am already over the 45 minute marker. I have to end the episode here. Guys, I will be continuing tomorrow after work in the next episodes. Um, I will then be quickly checking out the uh, cafe theater a bit more, like 10 15 minutes, just to get a good grip of it. Maybe also do some cafe theater missions to um, expand it as soon as possible get like a passive income going on and uh, then after that let's continue with some primary campaign missions or some interesting site content but uh, we will see that in the next episode hope you enjoyed hope to see you in the next one and for the meantime do not forget 
always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.